Okay, this is a short video on uh, why moving averages. Uh, moving averages are very, very important to, to look at. And in product traders, we use uh, multiple sets of moving averages. Most uh, companies do not. They use one or two. But uh, we found that uh, by using um, moving averages from multiple uh, time compressions, we end up getting a better picture of what the market's doing. So you can see here we have a red moving average down here, and uh, we'll talk about that later, but that red moving average actually defines the trend for us. This uh, s uh, green moving average right here uh, is a faster moving average, and it kind of follows the move here um, up uh, as it goes here and then you'll see these little small little green ones in here this little green one here and this little green one here uh, now what's significant about those as we get t uh, trend changes uh, at the down on this little small area uh, it will turn from green to red the other ones will stay the same the big thick ones stay the same but this will turn from green to red giving you a heads up here you see that we also have on this chart a T3. Uh, T3 is not a moving average, but uh, since we've got it showing you know, up here, it's pretty nice to see that the T3 acts as support, as you can see. And um, you know, when the T3 is breached right up here, that's a significant sign that uh, things are changing. Okay? Now, the reason that we want to define uh, use moving averages uh, other than what I've just shown you is because we need to define the desert. And the desert area is the area between the lowest moving average and the highest moving average, as you can see. And the market, you know, although it, it may breach in there, little short little bar, um, movements in here, when it bursts out of here, this becomes very easy for us to see, and a trade setup may actually be there. I mean, in fact, if we don't if we don't have room to the target, like in this case right here, we have a little move up here, and the target was right here. Well, it doesn't go very far because the target's right there. But if the target's far enough away then we see a fairly strong movement up there. You know, right here where we're, we breach back in the desert and up we go and the target's way up here at 114 on this chart here. You can see that the market makes those moves and that gives us a very, very easy visual sign to see can we take this trade. So any, any market that is trending is moving away from the moving averages, okay? So what you need to think about here is moving averages define what's happening in the marketplace. If you're above all the moving averages, you have more buyers than sellers. If you're below the moving averages, you have more sellers than buyers, okay? Now, that gives us the other issue, which is what happens when you're in between? Well, when we're in between the moving averages, we call that the desert. And the desert is an area where we don't know if we have more buyers, we don't know if we have more sellers, and therefore it requires more confirmation and more caution. It's not that there aren't great trades in there, it's just that it's, it is not trending. Right? And any currency that is not trending is going to trend. But any currency that is trending is going to stop trending. Okay, So that's why it's important. Now, the other thing we do is over here we mark the moving average crossover for you. Now, we don't teach uh, the moving average crossover as a system, although 90% of the systems out there for the retail trader are moving average crossover systems. And the reason we don't teach it is because it comes too late, and we got really sick and tired of trading a moving average crossover system and having to do it exactly what it did here. Okay, you can see here's the moving average crossover, so it occurred on this candle. So if you're trading a moving average crossover system, you entered right here, and of course you got stopped out right here. Well, we got a little sick and tired of that. So as you can see, we don't we don't tr teach it because we get momentum down in here. This gives us a, a, a signal right down here. It tells us you can get in right here using a six aces. We would be in and we would be up in profit here. So what that would teach us is that rather than get out of a trade, we move our stop very tight. And if it does one of these right here, well, then we make profit here. Uh, instead of being the other way, which is we enter right here and we get stopped out. And, uh, you know, in the course of trading in a year, that will be a significant amount of uh, trades that you don't lose on. So it's very, very important. Uh, while I'm here, we also have a MACD crossover. As you can see, it's a dark line here, and it just comes down here in the bottom here where the histograms, that's these little bars, uh, went from uh, being printed below the zero line to going above the zero line. All right? So that's, that's an important factor. But this 
tutorial is on uh, moving averages. So the most important thing is is that while we're going away from the desert here, while we're trending, we need to be taking full advantage of a trending market because it only trends 30% of the time. 70% of the time the market goes sideways. Okay, So we have to take advantage of every pulse in the marketplace when we have a trending market. And as you can see, we had tons of opportunities to make trades going up this trend. And then as we come over here to the bottom, we see the first, the first clue for us that we're going in the desert is, is not only the candles going in, but breaching the T3 here, right? And then we come down into the moving average. So I'm just going to, uh, inside the moving averages, and scroll this forward and you can see how the moving average right here creates its own resistance as we go back down in. Once again, we have a moving average cross over here. Where did that occur? On this candle right here. Well, you can see we, get, we would have been in up here. So, you know, we're significantly up in pips as opposed to waiting for a moving average crossover to occur. Now, the other thing that happens is that as we come down, the moving average becomes its own support, okay? If we go back here in the past and over here to the left, you can see when we hit the moving average here, we bounced. When we hit the moving average here, we bounced, okay? And so when we hit the moving average over here, we bounced again back up into the desert. And for our traders who trade the six aces uh, reversal, this is a, is a high statistical probability trade, and so they make this trade every time. Now the other factor is this, this red moving average defines the trend for us because the, this, this is coming from a 240 or higher chart and we're down here in a 10 minute chart, this big strong move downward doesn't really affect this line very much, okay? Uh, because it's, it's, this information is coming from candles that are, are being printed in the 4 hour, 5 hour, 6 hour range. So what, ha what occurs is, it is it's able to tell us that the trend is still intact even though we have a strong down move here of about uh, almost 200 pips here. We have almost 200 pip movement down. It's still nothing more than a pullback because it doesn't have the power to change this moving average. You can see that over here this moving average is higher than this over here. So what it takes out is the subjectivity in trending. Um, very few traders can actually find a trend uh, very well. Okay, it's, it's a hard thing to find. And so what that does is keep us on track and takes the subjectivity out of it because the moving average doesn't care what the trend lines are. All it's doing is measuring candles. And therefore, if the candles are continuously moving up without the power to change it uh, to go below that thing, then oh, whatever trend we're showing them based on that red line is still intact. All right. So that's a quick primer of how the, why we care about moving averages. They're very, very important. We think they're so important. We put four of them on our chart, not just two. Hope that helps you.